Yeah, hello, this is Dave from CheapBooks.com, playing World of Tanks. The tank is the M41 Bulldog. It's an American Tier 7 light tank. The map is Pearl River. This is actually one of my favorite games ever. And I learned some new techniques, so you're going to see how things work out. I've been playing with this spotting on this map. It's very difficult, and I tried different locations, and I finally found one that really, really worked out. And I've known about this for two years now, but the problem is, two years ago, they didn't have the central path um, that they have now. Now you've got the central path, which would be the on the se on the seven column, the E7 area. So there would be no tanks there to spot. Um, but basically, there's an outcropping of there's an area with some little islands. And there's a lot of shrubbery that you can hide in, and if you do it right, you can not only hide there, but you can spot tanks and you can shoot at them. Um, so, this is the general location. From here, from the bush in front of me, you can spot the enemy tanks as they cross in this gap. And as far as I know, they all have to cross in this gap. If you go to other locations, they can work their way around. But over here, uh, you can spot everybody. So I often sit in this area and try and snipe at them. Second of all, you've got these little islands here. You can sit in these islands and you can monitor this gap area. You've got a lot of bushes. And if the enemy s goes across here slowly, perhaps because your allies are, are, are on the other end, you can get a lot of shots in on them. But you could also get shots on tanks that are in other directions or the ones that come up here uh, on the um, the high ridges to try and uh, snipe. But that's not why I love this particular game. You're just going to have to keep on watching. I could be wrong. This could have been a different replay. But I think this is going to be the one where, um, <coughs> where I just totally... I caused the enemy to do a full retreat and... And there were like two tanks that suicided. One of the problems with this location, you can see I moved to the the bush that was in front, is that you have to sit and wait a long time. Because uh, a lot of teams, a lot of people camp a lot. But look at that. You turn around and you see that there's this tank back there and you want to shoot at him. But you got to figure out where can you sit that you can hit those tanks. Can't do it from here. You gotta find another spot. But this is definitely a spot that I recommend for doing some uh, damage to tanks as they cross over. It looks like nobody crossed over. And my team is so slow to get into position. Now, for these islands, sometimes it can be a little difficult to get up there, but it's not impossible. So we've got another little outcropping here. What happens when you turn around? Oh, look Target at that! Where did they go? Ready to fire! Enemy is hit! Guess who's not too happy? You've got a lot of bushes here to hide in. Ideally, you want to be backed up a little bit more. You can see that their M41 Bulldog finally showed up. I would have spotted him as he crossed in that gap if I stayed in that bush. Uh, you want to back up a little more, and uh, you'll notice that there's some trees over here. What I do is, when I was shooting at them, I was trying to shoot at them when they're behind the trees. Like this Object 140 he's not fully covered by the tree. <coughs> so what I would try to do is is prefer who's ever behind a tree or wait for them to get behind the tree. Let's get back into the action. Penetration. Watching what's going on behind me. Penetration. Enemy fuel tank is hit. You notice he's retreating. He, even scratch them. he has no idea what's Target going on. Acquired. Penetration. 
Now, I have reason to believe that one of the... You'll notice that there's one enemy tank that's dead already. I'm not sure who died. But, um... It's possible that he was... What's going to happen is at least two tanks are going to fall off this cliff right here. And I don't think he was one of them. I guess he wasn't. But that's what is going to happen. Target unlocked. Yeah, he's coming out looking for a fight. He ain't finding it. Enemy armor is damaged. Oh, somebody spotted me. That's not good. So I got to run and hide. So I found a temporary spot. It looks like there's a medium tank in the area. Bat chat is that? No. Ready to fire. Yeah, bat chat. That bat chat I think is gonna come back to haunt me. We didn't penetrate their armor. Now there's people who say, oh, don't use auto aim, don't ever use auto aim. Don't listen to them. They're complete idiots. This is a perfect example. I'm using the auto-aim, locked onto that object 140, but at the same time, I was able to keep an eye on that bat chat to see where he was going. He he went around that way. He's behind these buildings somewhere. So this is allowing me to keep an eye on the bat chat and fire at the object 140 and keep an eye out for that M103. Critical hit. And you can't do that in Let's sharpshooting mode. Target. Now, I think this is probably going to be around the area where um, some of the tanks uh, fell off the side here. I just wanted to also check out to see if I could hit these tanks. As you can see, here's another target that I could hit. And uh, this other tank is a potential. Okay. Target unlocked. Target acquired. Penetration. Critical hit. Got to be careful not to hit the ally. And there he goes. Where'd he go? He died. So that was the first one that crashed. Now keep in mind the bat chat is still around and I'm worried about the bat chat. And also my other targets have disappeared. It's 9 to 7. So I won't be able to do the sniping anymore, but it was very good. And I think I did a really good job for my team, even though we did not win in the end. Ready to fire. I don't know what's going on with these guys. So there goes the second guy. The second guy... Um, yeah, the M48 Patton crashed. Get some sniping in. So you can see that's a really good location for sniping on the enemy from right here. So let's take a good look at this. From this location, you can... The enemy's, in general, not going to be in this direction. You can snipe on the enemy that's over here. You can hit anybody that goes on these roads over here. Maybe you'll be able to get some of the guys out here at the bridge area. <coughs> Excuse me. And, of course, um, you see the red line is right there. So the red line is right along there. You can see behind that house and over there. That means the enemy has to cross through here. So this is not a starting position. This is where they're going to want to go to. <coughs> but once you've cleared out these guys and you've won this area, I would maneuver up here um, to to get a good view of, of the, uh, the back side of the enemy if there's still a battle going on over here. And you could get them uh, as they're coming through here, probably. Okay. Let's continue. 
12 to 8. I think now I am going to hunt down uh, the bat chat. Looks like he's dead. So it must have been a different game where there was a bat chat in this area who uh, who uh, put up a fight with me. <coughs> now I know you may not have seen it, but the enemy artillery was in the H8 area near the base. And right now I don't know where he is, but if I had gone down into the river I probably would have found him faster. Because uh, he I, there was a blip on there when I started going after the bat chat. I always... You'll notice that the path that I'm taking, I'm avoiding going within the circle. I would have gone right around it because I don't want them to know that I'm at their base. Uh, the other thing you notice is that his gun is pointed away from me. So whenever you're near the enemy base... Um, go around it, unless you intentionally want to attract the enemy. Ready to fire. They're knocked out. Obviously, I went through because I wanted to kill the artillery. Uh, the closer you are, the more likely you are to uh, kill him. <coughs> so now we don't know where the last tank is, but I guarantee you... Well, I know where he is. He's going to be up in these houses, probably. Um... Now, the whole point is, I know he didn't go up in the northern section because he would have encountered my allies, and I know he didn't go through the middle, and I know he didn't go that way, he would have encountered my allies. So I know he's probably hiding up here in the houses because that's what they do. Enemy armor is... Got him. Okay, so uh, the score was 15-9. That's the M41 Walker Bulldog. Two kills. The map is Pearl River. This is actually one of my favorite maps, even though they took away the, the bridge battle. They altered the map. I, I like before they altered it, it was one of my favorite maps. Um, that is how you flank the enemy and snipe them. I absolutely recommend you try it. Uh, try out different positions. Be aware that you can get flanked very easily. You know, I play... Uh, the center of the map, very difficult positions, but uh, the enemy can absolutely counterflank you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post below.